So I'm not sure. <laughs> How's your day going? <laughs> yeah, going good there. I hope you've got some good questions for me right yeah, now. Well, as well I said, didn't actually know you were going to be here, so, uh, but no one cares about me. That's no, what no, 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 we, we care. We care about the unbeaten British European champions. You've got other belts as well. You, you're smashing it. You're, you're doing well, Sam. Yeah, it's going on. I've got to leave you saying so you can remember me. I was always be forgotten, wasn't I? <laughs> but I had no belts. No one care about me. No, no stop, stop. Uh, stop. But, Sean, but Sean's got a belt now as well. Sam, yeah. So that, we can talk about that. He was meant to be here as well today, but I think he's um, feeling a little bit rough. After the fight, obviously, or feeling a little bit ill because I know we were all ill before, mm -hmm. so he might have got that. But you know, you would have had both of us, and it would have been nice to have someone sat next to me, I imagine. But he's English champ now. Were, were you uh, taking every punch, giving every punch, everything with him ringside? Oh, I was chatting a lot, probably heard me down there, but yeah, no, it was good. It was good to see him do it, good to see him get his first title. I think he looked good doing it as well, and then obviously, like. Taking that box of 10 rounds, 10 rounds is a long old time, and I think he's done that at a relatively good pace as well. So, yeah, it's good for Sean, mate. Good time to be a notes. It's always a good time to be a notes. <laughs> always a good time. But what's, what's like the family saying about it? What's, what's Big John saying about it? What's Shazza saying about it? You've got all your got all your belts, mate. Yeah, they're, all, they're all proud of the punch, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They're all a very supportive family, every one of them. Uh, we, all, uh, we all get behind each other, and I think, yeah, Sean's grateful to see where he's doing. Obviously, him and Mickey Burke are doing a brilliant job down there, and I think it's showing, isn't it? So it's like, I was saying earlier, so it just, like, it just shows that all the gears you're putting in the hard work as an amateur, when no one sees it, it's now starting to pay off. Mm. So with yourself, it feels like you're having a bit of a rest right now. I mean, your, your last two fights, becoming British champion, becoming European champion, very close together, no no real break in between, was it? No, so I had a bit of, um, that was a quick of a bit of a quick yeah. turnaround, but I've had enough time off now. I'm, as I said, we ain't announced it yet, but I'm five weeks out of a fight Friday, so I'm, I'm in camp, I've had my time off, had a few holidays, enjoyed myself, got fat, now it's time to do it in reverse, <laughs> and it looks the weight again, and then get in there and do the business. Your, your next opponent, I mean, he looks good. He's only been stopped once by Anthony Yijit. That was up at 140 pounds. Oh, yeah, I've done your research, isn't he? Come on. He's good, man. Man's Come a professional way. Come on, he's look. good, he's good. But look, he, look, he looks decent. It looks like it's not just going to be someone that you can run over. Or is it? No, I mean, well, the thing is, you don't get in the European mandatory spot without being able to fight, you know what I'm saying? So we know it's not going to be no layover, but I think doing them 12 rounds with Mendy has put me in a good place obviously like we've ticked that box of doing them rounds doing that so hopefully getting them streak starting September the 6th that'd be nice hopefully how important were those rounds because it, okay it's, it's great having your streak the streak was was incredible we all loved it what what whilst it went Mendy is a good kind of name to lose the streak to because no one knocks him out so it's okay it's okay but but I guess you've got the rounds, right? You know you can do 12, you know you can do it at a great pace against a good fighter. You learn a lot, right? Yeah, I think I think that I would say, as much as it pains me to say, I probably, it is probably what my career needed. You know what I'm saying? I know I can do that now. It gives me the confidence in that. Also the experience of doing it with a, with a good operator as well, as she said, and a good pace. So I'm happy I've done it. I don't really want to do it again. That's where I'm at with that. So that's your final 12 rounder? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> so on September the 6th, expecting a fight to go within the distance? Yeah, hopefully. I'm over near. I don't want to do 12 rounds. Not, not two 12 rounds back to back, mate. No way. It'd be nice again early night. Obviously, I know I'm going to have to work work for it, but that's what we're preparing in the gym, do you know what I'm saying? Inspiring well, and I'm, I'm up for that, so I'm more than capable of doing that within the 12 rounds. But I know it ain't going to be easy, but... It never is, Dev. It never is. It never is. It never Listen, is. your your uh, your rise has been quite considerable, considering it's two fights ago. You oh, weren't. Yeah, you weren't the British champ. No, you weren't the European so, champ. No, look at you. I got a phone call uh, back in the last year. I uh, just just landed in Prague. Uh, I was like, right, they've offered you February. It's for the British title. Do you want it? And I said, well. I did have plans, like I was going to do stuff, but I said, well, like, I can't not, do you know what I mean? So you can't not turn the British title down. And then, obviously, then it was the British, and then they spoke about fighting for the European in July, and then they said, well, no, no, we'll just do it now. We won't do it in July, we'll do it now. And I thought, well, all right, so what I mean? <laughs> and then he got, because that Sylvester fight got announced for the WBO fight week. Yeah. So that, yeah. that, that belt got added fight week, because I got absolutely stung with the commission fees, didn't I? Oh, my God. Oh, it's all well good, good having all these belts there, mate, but I tell you what, mate. Oh, well, good. But yeah, I mean, 
I'm very grateful to be where I am. Obviously, the management I've had, Frank's looking after me, the belts I've got, I'm in a really good position. Get another two fights at the end of the year, win them both in good fashion, and then the 2025 should be very, very big. What's going to happen in 2025? Well, I'm obviously going to fight some more, I think, Dev, and <laughs> try and maybe get hold of the world title. But I don't know, look, listen, as you said, it can change like that. At one point, I won't even a British champion, and I went British Summer WBO, do you know what I'm saying? So, Hopefully it can be like that, but they can be world titles being last, but we just keep winning. I said, that's all I can do, really. Do, do you, where do you see yourself in this big, lightweight picture? It's a great division in the world, domestically as well. Where, where do you see Sam Notes? I'm creeping up there. I'm getting, I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm in the top 10 with the WBO or whatever, and I think the European puts me in good stead in the other governing bodies. But I think 2025 is probably the time for a world title, whether it be the back end or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I said, as long as it comes, so like, I'm not like, oh no, we've got it down. I didn't get it this time. It just means I've got another two two fights in the year to learn to better my craft and get more experience because it ain't an easy division to be on. But. We're in it, ain't we, Dave? We're in it for the long you're run, in, mate. We're in it. You're here now, mate. There's no going back. And uh, you tend to knock people out in the division as well. Yeah, I used to once upon a time. <laughs> Not anymore. Pillar fist, man. I see, I see someone comment that on a, on a YouTube video so of me and Mindy, and he's like, God, he boxing for 12 rounds. You didn't knock him out. He said, You must have pillar fist. I'm like, God, mate, give me a break. It's just just one name that you just can't hurl at Sam Mate, he's just like, oh, yeah, I know. People try though, they're nasty, isn't they? Even <laughs> they are, yeah. I, t I tend to not look at the comments. But um, what about Mark Chamberlain? He's quite good, isn't he? Yeah, he's all right. He's a good fight. I mean, he's landed on his feet, isn't he? With, um, he didn't need to have that one prepared. That one's always in the old back burner, aren't it? <laughs> nah, he's landed on his feet, isn't he? I mean, obviously, he's got the support out in Saudi, and he's absolutely flying, isn't he? I mean, it's got a bit of an easier fight, I'd say, in Josh Padley. I mean, it would have been nice for me and him to be on that card, really. But it is what it is. It's only a matter of time. I mean, Good luck to him, he'll probably get another big fight on the old uh, Fury card and all, wouldn't he, I suppose, so... He's got to stay in my lane, do what I'll keep doing, I'm not really focusing on what he's doing, I mean, it'd be a bit different if the possibility of fighting him was there, but from what I hear, it's not there at the minute. So then, just got to keep doing what I'm doing, and he focus on myself. You get presented with that fight tomorrow. Feels like you just say yes. Yeah, I'm there. I've said it for the last two years. When, like, obviously, we got asked when we first career started, yeah, it didn't really make sense. For the last two years we've been talking about it, I said, oh, I'm up for it. I said, I'm not said like, I'm not going to, oh, I don't know if it's the right time. If that claimed contract got presented to me now, I would sign it on this camera. It wouldn't bother me. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just politics, situations. He probably got another route going towards the world titleship, banked by Saudi. I've got to do what I've got to do, innit? It's not just as easy as, right, these two fighters want to fight, we'll do it. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Inevitably, it will happen. I mean, unless he gets beat and he moves up, who knows? Who knows, Dev? We've only been talking about it for five years. What's another, <laughs> yeah. what's another, what's another <laughs> five years? You know what I mean? Exactly. But but us talking about it every time we talk does build it up. You know, at, at it some definitely point, feels closer now yeah. than it did a few years ago. But it's a new team, so I'm, I'm up for that fight. I'm I'm ready for when that ever gets made. Do you talk to him at all? Do I talk to Mark? No, talk to him. I think we still follow each other on social media. Like we're not school kids about it. Right. Shit. Like this is what we're in. It's the fight, game, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I'm not a Mark Chamberlain hater. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's saying that I'll, when that fight gets made, I will win. That's it. I'm not. That's not me hating on Mark Chamberlain. I'm not hating on you, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like we ever keep talking about. It, we keep talking about. It. We both said we're up for it. And it don't happen. Do you know what I'm saying? So. It is what it is, and then he's fighting Josh Padley, who I got offered about four or five fights ago, and then he's fighting him at Wembley, do you know what I mean, for the WBC Silver International, or whatever, Silver title, wherever he's got, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was allowed to fight for him four fights ago, but then that's getting made now, do you know what I mean? Funny, isn't it, how things work? You just back yourself, didn't you? You just know when that, when that... I'm not in the game to be half-hearted, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be second best there. I am, I am. Maybe second best at interviews, I'll give you the number one spot. Oh, don't worry about that. Stop, you can have stop. the number one spot. Stop. Take it not, away. We're not Take fighting, mate. Not fighting. So what happens now? You're uh, you're in camp now. Presumably you've started your five weeks off. Looking forward to this fight. Headlining at your call again. Becoming a bit of a main event at Sam Lakes. No, oh, well, I've done it once. I wouldn't say <laughs> coming be a bit different if we'd done it out of your call. I mean, when I start doing it, it's maybe at the copper box, and I start calling myself a main event. Or, but at the moment. Just go, it's good. It's a good stepping stone that you get. You get your nice little photo. You get your opponent early. You're on the poster. Do you know what I mean? So I'm buzzing for it to be main event again. I am. 
it's good. But as I said, it's just another fight at the end of the day. You just got to get in there and do the business, isn't it? Whether I'm first on, last on, it is what it is. Best of luck to you, Sam Knights. Thank you very much. All right, mate.